in desert or secret chambers. This, I believe, is the home run scripture. This is where Yeshua himself says, then if talking about Antichrist in the last days in Matthew 24, then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it, for false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. In other words, pay attention, I'm telling you this in advance, okay, so you guys get it. Therefore, if they say to you, look, he is in the desert, do not go out, or look, he is in the secret chambers, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For wherever the carcass is, there the eagles shall be gathered together. Again, the modern translators of English tried to help us out. Thank you very much. Stop tampering with the word of God. They changed that to vultures. Why? Because they, everybody knows that eagles don't go after dead things. They go after live things. No, the scriptures say eagle. Let's leave it the way it says, right? Now, here's some very interesting things. Remember we told you that the ankh represents resurrection. Symbol of resurrection. What's the symbol most associated with Yeshua, with Jesus? Cross, right? Think Jesus, think cross. Think this guy, cross. What did Yeshua do? He resurrected. What's this guy going to do? Hmm. 1999, Zahi Hawass, one of the most renowned uh, archaeologists in Egypt, said in 1999, I have found a shaft going down 29 meters vertically uh, to right here between the center pyramid and the Sphinx is where they found it. Uh, at the bottom, there was, fill, uh, there was a chamber that was filled with water. We have found a burial chamber with four pillars. In the middle is a large granite sarcophagus, which I expect to be the grave of Osiris, the god. I have been digging in Egypt's sand for more than 30 years, and up to date, this is the most exciting discovery I have made. This is a rendering of what they found. They went down and they found an area that had like six sarcophagus, and then they went down into this, the, the seventh one was a tunnel that went down to another chamber that was filled with water. The scriptures talk about the Antichrist coming out of water, right? The sea, as they say. This is what they found. This is an artist's rendering of it. They found a moat of water. They pumped the whole thing out. It was full of water, so they pumped all the water out. When they got the water out, this is what they found. There was a moat of water surrounding a square island that had four pillars that had ancient writing on it that I would believe were probably, are, are probably instructions for something. In the middle, there was another moat of water with a little island with about a 10-foot sarcophagus that was empty. The empty tomb of Osiris. Hmm. Okay. 2003, Gilgamesh tomb was found in the desert of Iraq. One of the things they said about Gilgamesh from the Epic of Gilgamesh, who can compare with him in kingliness? Who can say, like Gilgamesh, I am king? What does the scripture say about the Antichrist? Who is like the beast? Who can wage war with the beast? Very similar. By the way, Gilgamesh was said to have been, according to the Epic of Gilgamesh, two-thirds God, one-third man, percentage-wise. Two-thirds is what? 66.6%. Hmm. Just throwing it out there. All right. Our troops went to war. Gilgamesh's tomb was found in April of 2003. We went to war in May, a month later. Kicked out all the archaeologists. First thing our troops did, and you can look this up for yourself, first thing our troops did was raid the Museum of Baghdad. You may remember the news reports. We raided the Museum of Baghdad, first thing we did. And then June, about a month later, U.S. authorities announced, oh, yeah, this is great, right? Create the problem, create the solution. Aren't we wonderful? U.S. authorities announced that the world-famous Treasures of Nimrud, which is another Nimrod, de derivative of Nimrod, were recovered from a secret vault in Iraq's central bank. The artifacts included necklaces, plates, gold earrings, finger and toe rings, bowls and flasks. Officials said that of the 170,000 items initially believed missing, just 3,000 remain unaccounted for. Yeah, you think the 3,000 unaccounted for items that we stole from the Museum of Baghdad were toe rings and nose rings? I don't think so. I think we took some pretty significant artifacts. And of those 47 were main exhibit artifacts. Okay, first thing we did, raid right the Museum of Baghdad a month after we found Gilgamesh. What did Yeshua said? What did he say? If, you, if they say he's in the desert, don't go there. Gilgamesh found in the desert. They say he's in the secret chambers. Don't believe them. 